Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about the two Conduit games on the Wii. The Conduit is an amazing game any Wii owner should play. It's almost a masterpiece. I see almost because it still has some shortcomings. So Conduit is one of the only true shooters on the Wii. By that I mean it's one of the few shooters that gives you a first person shooter experience by the book. The controls are flawless and customization is crazy deep. You can customize even the speed you run at. You can customize with sliders how sensitive your horizontal or vertical movement is. As for the gameplay, it's pretty linear. It has some unlockables to be found with this eye, but in rest it's a stereotypical first person alien shooter. Also you will see the same enemies over and over in the game, but on the good side, there is a good deal of weapons to try out and the graphics are pushing the Wii to its limits. The graphics look amazing, especially near water. And the gameplay, the main part of the game, is flawless. Also the atmosphere, music and voice acting in the game are great. All in all, it's a great first person shooter by the book. Its only problem, the one that prevents me to call it a masterpiece, is that it's pretty bland and repetitive too. I mean, shooting aliens in a linear fashion is all you do, and it can get repetitive. It's fun, but the game still could have added a little more variety. Still, the game is amazing, and any Wii owner should play this title. It's amazing. And Conduit 2 continues from where Conduit 1 left off. The gameplay is pretty much unchanged. I mean the mechanics and the game formula are the same, but what impresses are the graphics. They are more stunning than any first game, and the first game is already graphically amazing. This one manages to be even more good looking. And the great gameplay is here too. You get again the huge wealth of customization options when it comes to controls, and the controls are again spot on. They tried to make some bosses more interesting and make the game a little more spicy, but in the end, it's a very stereotypical alien shooter that can get repetitive, but due to the amazing controls, it never felt repetitive, at least for me. But still, the different looking locations are beautiful and add visual variety. So even if you don't get much gameplay variety, you get at least visual variety. Also one difference that sounds minor was a big improvement in my eyes. In Conduit 2, you can sprint. Too bad that the sprinting runs out fast because you don't have much stamina. I hope you get more stamina in the third installment. And I hope they're gonna make a third installment. Because it's already more than 10 years and there is still no Conduit 3. But luckily they are still releasing games on the Wii, so we can hope. The story is again over the top and doesn't take itself too serious. Also the game has multiplayer. And considering how good the controls are, it was one of the best multiplayer FPS games on the Wii. So to summarize both games, they are stereotypical alien shooters that some of you might consider too repetitive, but which have amazing controls and thus satisfying gameplay, in spite being repetitive. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.